It all started with a big fire at the governor's house. Boom! Just like that, a huge part of the city was gone. Then another fire, and another. It was like someone was playing a wicked game. Whispers started spreading like wildfire. People were saying a group of enslaved people were behind it all, planning a super secret attack. Can you believe it? A whole city in panic over a rumor. But here's the crazy part. Was it really true? Did a secret group of enslaved people really want to burn down the city? Or was it just a giant misunderstanding. A case of wrong place, wrong time. Get ready to dive into a world of smoke, fear, and mystery. We're about to uncover the truth behind one of history's biggest puzzles. In 1741, New York City was a growing town filled with merchants, sailors, and slaves. It was a place where rich and poor, free and enslaved, lived side by side. But beneath the surface, tensions were brewing. Rumors began to spread. People whispered about a plot, a grand conspiracy to burn the city down and overthrow the government. Who was behind it. Fingers pointed to the enslaved African population and a few poor white citizens. Fear and paranoia took hold, and the hunt for conspirators began. Mary Burton, a young servant girl, became the key witness. She claimed to know about the plot, naming names and pointing fingers. With each accusation, the net widened. Over 200 people were arrested, thrown into dark, damp jail cells. The trials were swift and brutal. Judges, eager to restore order, handed out sentences based on flimsy evidence and coerced confessions. The most shocking was the fate of Caesar a charismatic black man, and John Hewson, a white tavern owner. They were accused of leading the conspiracy. During the trials, witnesses spoke of secret meetings and whispered plans to burn the city. The evidence was thin, but the fear was thick. The city wanted justice, and it came swiftly. Thirteen black men were burned at the stake, a horrific sight meant to serve as a warning. Seventeen more, including Caesar and Hewson, were hanged. The hangings were public spectacles, drawing crowds who came to watch with a mix of fear and fascination. As the gallows creaked in the fires blazed. The true nature of the conspiracy remained shrouded in mystery. Was there really a plot, or was it all a product of mass hysteria? Historians still debate the truth, but one thing is certain. The 1741 New York City conspiracy left a mark on the city's history, a chilling reminder of the dangers of fear and suspicion. In just a few months, New York City was turned upside down by rumors and panic. The 1741 conspiracy showed how quickly fear could spread, and how dangerous it could be when people jumped to conclusions conclusions without real evidence. It was a dark chapter in the city's past, but one that teaches us the importance of justice and the dangers of mass hysteria. So next time you walk the streets of New York, remember the flames that once lit up the night and the innocent lives caught in the fire of suspicion. So goes the story of the first alleged terror attack on New York City. Something to think about the next time you're in the Big Apple. If you like this story, like and subscribe. Subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember be careful sharing rumors.